Hey, what's going on, everyone? Naka here. Hope you all having a wonderful day today so far. And as you guys can see, I'm bringing you something a little bit different in my channel today. So I've actually never done one of these videos before, but for the first time ever, I'm actually making like a tier maker video or like a tier list video. So if you guys aren't familiar with the concept of what a tier maker is or a tier list maker, it's basically this website right here, tiermaker.com, where you can create a tier list for anything. I feel like I'm already saying the word tier way too much, but anyways, there's basically like templates for anything. So here, featured sports templates, I can click the NFL. This will be for teams. I'm gonna put the Patriots on top because obviously they are. Now, but what we're gonna be doing today actually is we're gonna be sorting the modern warfare 2 maps in a tier list from best to worst for trick shotting here let me click this little search up top type in modern warfare 2 maps and see what comes up and we have a lot of options here huh i might have to make these on other games if you guys enjoy this video but here let's pick modern warfare 2 maps okay we got s tier a b c and d i'm pretty sure this is every single one i don't think there's any missing uh yeah it has some dlc in here because i see savage and bailout I, yeah, I think we got them all. Alright guys, I'm ready to get started, but before I do, just know that I'm rating the IW4X versions of these maps, so the ones that have like bounces, elevators, outer maps, all that stuff. Oh yeah, can't forget the wall bang everything either. That's a huge part of IW4X compared to console MW2. But you know what? Who knows? Depending how long this takes, I might do one at the end of this with console MW2 ratings as well. Or if this takes a while, I could always do it in another video as well. If you guys are down to see it, just let me know. But yeah, without further ado, I've done enough talking. Let's get into rating these maps, boys. Which one is gonna be S tier? I think I know which one we gotta start with. With, and that's high rise i know nowadays it's played a bunch on iw4x and i'm kind of getting bored of playing it myself don't get me wrong but come on you guys can't say high rise is not the best trick shotting map on mw2 and iw4x just think of how many spots there are to trick shot there's a helipad there's a sui off helipad there's an actual helicopter the crane shot the propane tank the ladder stall or top spin over there legend ladder uh getting on the actual roof kriegler sign french fries like this 10 right there off the top of my head and i bet there's even more like the ladder in the spawn building uh yeah there's literally countless and especially with the wall bang everything you can hit like anything on this map seriously like this is trick shotting heaven on iw4x hmm, what else would be an s tier map honestly guys i want to say you guys might think i'm crazy for this one but i want to say rust i know some of you guys are going to think this deserves to be on the bottom but here let me explain myself hear me out a little bit all right so obviously there's the main trick shotting spot which is one of the highest trick shotting spots in mw2 so that's a good reason but that's uh the third story but if you go to the second story of like the rust building there's a few more trick shotting spots there's a lattice stall there you can also top spin it uh then there's just like the normal level like the pipe that you walk up you can always trick shot off that there's also that back little corner behind the radio tower that you can walk up and trick shot off that ledge and there's a few ways to get to the main trick shotting spot which is up top you can climb the ladder you can walk all the way up top like and just climb up and with the wall being everything you can literally hit to like anywhere on the map the map is so small that you can literally see him anywhere off of the main trick shotting spot or off of like any of the trick shotting spots you can wall bang the whole map at like any time but actually now that i think about it having such a small map you can't really like i think you can hit a 550 but it's never that crazy because it's not like even if it's across the map rust is the smallest map after all i don't know it's not as crazy as hitting like a shot across wasteland or like high rise or something i don't know honestly now that I think about it, it is kind of annoying seeing all the ghillie suits up top too before you go for your shot and climbing the ladder and getting blocked and when they throw care packages on the ladder and kill all of you guys but like everyone trick shotting in the game so you know what i'm actually gonna move that down to a tier above I mean, not above, below high rise honestly i'm trying to think of another s tier map and i really can't think of one i want to say terminal but it might be moved down to a i'll put it in s for now but hear me out guys I right, so terminal has a lot of good trick shotting spots it has a plane shot which is like a 1080 1440 it's a banger but it's a little challenging to get up not like totally challenging especially with fps spines but a little bit there's also red roof but a lot of people just like 720 off that or they barely 1080 there's a window you can jump into there's like a few backdrops and a few windows you can jump out of there's the orange truck in the back hmm i'm trying to take everything into consideration here with the wall bang everything as well i don't know guys i just feel like high rise is significantly better than terminal on iw4x so for that reason i'm gonna move it down one level to a which is still like an amazing map don't get me wrong s is just like the best of the best you know what boys i was thinking there wasn't gonna be any map as good as high rise to put an s tier but i think on iw4x that Quarry will probably have to take that title. All right, boys, hear me out. So there's the main trick shotting building. There's a ladder stall in that building. There's an inside ladder stall. Uh, you can double wall bang it with the wall bang everything. The bot goes in and outside of the building a lot, so you always have the chance to go for the wall bang. There's some outer maps you can do with care packages and really high bounces that people go for too. Oh yeah, there's a building across the map with a tank in it. A lot of people go on that one, and you can go for ladder stalls on there, or you can just jump off like the little AC unit on the outside of the building and hit across the map. And the normal trick shotting building is like one of the highest, if not the highest, trick shotting spot in MW2. So you know what? I'm gonna have to say Quarry is S tier on IW4X. Honestly, boys, this might be an unpopular opinion but want to know what else deserves to be an s tier map in my opinion oh putting it above rust and terminal though i don't know if i can do it it might be an a i might move it down from s but for now i'm gonna put d rail up there 
I know that sounds crazy, but hear me out. So first things first, it has that bounce in the middle off the little train there. That's an extremely easy bounce to hit, so a lot of people have hit it, and you can hit it distance too. There's a main trick shotting building where you can go for window shots, you can go for ladder stalls or double ladder stalls off the trains in the middle. There's a lot of crazy bounces you can go for off like the jeeps on the map, especially the one in the back to spawn. You can hit so far. Derail's like 550 heaven. This actually bounces everyone derail. You can even hit a bounce ladder stall, you can hit a bounce window shot. Also, derail is crazy elevators to get like dumb far out of the map. Like I'm talking 100 plus meters maybe even more than that and with the wall bang everything i really think derail is an s tier map it has bounces lattice stalls wall bangs top spins like oh yeah potential to go for across the map potential to go for like kind of more barrel stuff so if you're not that good at trick shotting there's just so much you can oh window shots too there's literally so much you can do on derail for trick shotting so i think it's gonna have to take the title of an s tier map hmm moving on i think underpass is probably gonna have to be an a tier map yeah underpass is definitely one of the best on iw4x in my opinion keep in mind guys this is all personal preference i'm trying to be very objective with it too and like taking into account what l you guys would go for because i don't go for elevators or anything like that personal opinion is going to come into it a little bit i'm trying not to be biased but oh well um but yeah underpass i think is going to be an a tier map like i said and here's my reasoning for that one with the wall bang everything you can hit so much more on underpass than you were ever able to hit before like you can hit to crazy spots a main building on underpass not only has a ladder stall but it has a lot of height too if you want to go for like a 1080 maybe even 1440 you can do elevators that are actually pretty easy underpass is one of the easiest maps and you can get like out and go on the sky barriers on the bridge above the map even though it can come a little close at times the bot path is actually really good on underpass so you can normally hit really far distance on it or just like normal distance if you're going for something more complex there's also a bunch of little like small roofs you can trick shot off of if you're not feeling the main trick shot roof and there's a little like ladder in the middle where you can climb up and go on that tower and try to hit off there so for those reasons i think underpass is an a tier map want to know what else i think is an a tier map would be scrapyard all right so as far as scrapyard goes there's the two spawn buildings you can trick shot out of obviously the one with the ladder is way better there's like four or five different windows you can jump out of there's a ladder stall you can just jump backwards and wall bank through the whole map there's also bounces inside of that building but if you don't want to go from that spawn building you can go from the other one and just jump out of the window or also just wall bang that like jumping off the staircase or if you don't want to go from either of the spawn buildings you can just jump off the like broken plane in the middle of the map and there's bounces everywhere like the whole side of it's basically a bounce or you can jump off the white trucks if you want there's also a little trick shotting spot in b-bomb and there's a bounce in there too so you can go for that across the map wall banging a bunch of stuff it can be a little annoying trying to climb but besides that i think scrap would have to be an a tier map not gonna lie all right boys well i almost have the best maps in the game done so after i finish explaining those and all the trick shotting spots this should go a little bit quicker but i want to know which one i forgot is favela i don't know if this is gonna be s tier or a tier you know what i'm gonna put in s for now and let me explain my reasoning for that one it has like the two well not even two like four main buildings you can trick shot off of they're on either side of soccer field there's the one long one that everyone hit shots from you can hit a ladder stall from there or you can backdrop it and wall bang the whole building that's a very popular shot on iw4x if you trick shot from any of the other buildings on the other side like the three that are lined up the one in the middle um it has a ladder stall you can go for in the middle or you can just backdrop it the one on the way i'm thinking the very right it has a main elevator you can go up in the sky like the one with all the leaves on the building so many people have hit crazy elevators from there and then on uh, the building all the way on the other side of that one that one's like another one of the main trick shotting buildings everyone backdrops that over the top and hits roof to roof but yeah the last one i'm talking about is that green building with the ladder that you have to climb up everyone has backdrops from there either through the wall or across the map not only is there that trick shotting spot next to barber but also next to barber is like that little broken down building with the staircase and the boxes you can jump to you can do two different elevators from there which are also crazy spots that a bunch of people have hit from and from there you can also jump out of the map get dumb far out and go for crazy shots like you can go for an under the map suey you can go for out of the map bounces there's so much stuff you can do out of the map on favela and in the map honestly there's no way it's not an stm map in iw4x let's be real not only that i didn't even get to mention the bounces there's that main one that everyone goes for off the uh the soccer goal post in the middle oh my bad my bad football for any of my foreign viewers and then there's like random bounces on cars across the map too so yeah favela s tier map for sure all right so we almost got all the best maps in the game done but obviously afghan's one of those this is one of the ones that's always in constant rotation and i'm gonna have to put that in a tier for afghan <laughs> and honestly afghan would be s tier because hear me out boys there's a bunch of trick shotting spots all across the map so let's start with the plane in the middle of the map it has three parts it has like the tail part that you can go all the way up and hit a banger like 1080 1440 across the map or it doesn't even have to be across the map you can just hit a dope shot from it there's also a bounce on it if you want to jump off the cliff onto it speaking of the cliff you can literally just trick shot off a cliff which is a banger spot or if you turn out the fps there's a fat rock bounce that you can hit off the cliff then you actually have the wing in the middle of the map which you can walk up go for more crazy shots on the 1080 1440 whatever you want to go for and the easiest bounce in iw4x easily the one in the middle 
So many people hit that. That one's like an easy mode one to hit. Or if you turn up your FPS, you can go for crazy strafe ones off the middle bounce. Or I mean off the middle wing and go for crazy bounces. You can also jump to that little thing above the cave and just like go for a little shot off there if you want. Or you can just go to the front part of the plane. That spot isn't as crazy, but once again, there's bounces you can hit off there. And with the wall bang everything, you can literally like go crazy. I know I keep saying crazy, but hey, Afghans is like the definition of it. Not only that, but there's a bunch of elevators. There's the one like behind the main bunker you can go up. A bunch of people hit that. There's also the prone alley. I'm pretty sure it's a prone alley in the radiation, which you don't die from, by the way. So you can hit a dope shot with the radiation effect on your screen. There's also the bounce that you can go for right outside a cave, and you can either hit it through the whole cave or like to the suicide rocks. I actually hit that shot in gun game before, so if I remember, I'll put that shot on the screen right now as I'm talking about it. But yeah, if I do remember to put that clip, you'll see that I shot over to the rocks that everyone goes to a suey off of, which is just another trick shotting spot on that map, boys. There's a suey there with like a crazy bounce on the side of it. And if you don't want to go for the crazy bounce, you can go for a suey a few rocks over and go for a tree bounce suey there's also another tree bounce suey in the spawn that the enemy spawn in on iw4x but if none of these trick shotting spots are enough for you but with the wall bang everything on iw4x you can literally just like jump off the edge of the map and hit through the whole map you can wall bang the whole thing so i actually did that one time it's easily my best shot on iw4x i'll show you guys that right now as i'm talking in the background i hit through the whole map with a y2000 and if you guys know the damage on the y2000 you know that would not be possible if it wasn't iw4x you know what i might have to move this map up from a tier to s tier yeah I think I'm gonna have to. The only reason I put it on A tier is the bot paths on this map are not very good. They like always just go kind of barrel stuff like right under the wing. There's not a lot of distance you can go for. But if you're creative, you can go for like an elevator or like wall bang bounce or something when they're in the middle. So you know what? I'm actually gonna move Afghan up to S tier. That's actually crazy that I have that many maps in like the top tier, like best category you can get. Most of the time on like a tier maker list, there's only like one or two up there. That literally just goes to show how amazing the maps in MW2 were for trick shotting. But now we're gonna move on to some of well they're not bad maps but maybe a little more like lackluster all right so up next out of these ones i'm probably gonna pick you know what this one could even be an a tier but i'm gonna put it in b for right now and that is karachi karachi is another solid trick shotting map especially on iw4x with the wall bang everything so there's the main trick shotting building you go off of and there's a bunch of other like small ledges and stuff you can go up that are connected to it all good spots to trick shot from once you get up top you can go for a shot over the wall or on iw4x you can actually just wall bang it you can also jump to like the little roof off to the left of it and go for a care package stall i know a lot of people have been going for that through the wall on iw4x you can go for a ladder stall off the top or you don't even have to go off the top actually you can literally just go off like the second level with the ladders on or top spin it if you want the bot actually goes to some pretty solid trick shotting spots in iw4x like you can always hit it with a wall bang for the most part sometimes it goes far down the street sometimes it goes in the middle of the building but wherever it goes you can hit it there's also a pretty big bounce in the middle of karachi i can never hit it but i know some people that can and you can actually just jump across like the poles in the middle of karachi as well to get to a secret trick shotting spot and on top of that karachi actually has a lot of elevators probably like the most at any map in mw2 actually you can get on sky barriers and go for like crazy high bounces or you can just jump out of the map and just go for normal shots so with me telling you all these good things about this map you're probably wondering why isn't it a tier why is it like at b tier and i gotta say that like even though the elevators are dope on it and all that there's not a lot of chance to hit them especially if you're out of the map like the bot i don't know is pretty far which would be crazy if you hit it like distance is a good thing it's just hard and if you are going for out of map shots like that well the elevators aren't as easy on karachi as they are on some other maps so you might struggle with that a little bit it's definitely a harder map and not only that but there's a whole other side of karachi you could trick shot from there's a a roof over there with a ladder there's a bunch of wall bangs you can go from but the bot doesn't even go over there there's a whole side of the map that gets basically wasted unless you want to like try to wall bang the whole map and good luck with that i mean you can do it it's just gonna take a while to hit for sure so for those reasons karachi is actually gonna be the first b on this list tied with karachi is actually gonna be the first dlc map i think yep this is the first dlc map i've picked so far and that would be overgrown now overgrown is a solid map as well i actually enjoy playing it a lot in my opinion this map is actually underrated because most people just think of overgrown and they think of like that main trick shotting house that everyone calls grandma's house and there's a lot more to overgrown that people don't know about for example there's a lot of bounces especially like straight bounces that'll send you really high if you change your fps there's also buildings that you can get to in iw4x that you normally can't without like changing the fps and placing care packages but on iw4x you have unlimited care packages so it makes it way easier there's also bounces all across the map including all the bounces from cod 4 overgrown which actually like that game had bounces so they aren't b-patch with wall bang everything as well it doesn't matter how distant the guy is you can still hit him in the barn in the back of the map there's a little lattice stall you can go 
for like across the map or even it doesn't have to be across the map but with the wall bang everything is possible and like i mentioned before the main trick showing spot on this map is a big house in the middle that everyone calls granny's house if you want you can go for like a little ladder stall off there or bounce off there but most people just jump straight off and go for like a 1080 1440 combo for that reason since you can do all that stuff on overgrown i have to put in the b tier it's not as good as the a tier or definitely s tier maps but it's not bad i right, moving on we're down to the ones that aren't very good but i mean they're decent i think we got one more b tier one and that would be sub base all right i know i keep talking really long about each map so i'll explain sub base way quicker all right so on the first side of the map the one that the bot spawn on an iw4x you got those two roofs that you can trick shot off of they both have ladder stalls you can go for and if you place care packages you can jump up even higher and go on the vents also with the wall bang everything you can literally backdrop either of them and shoot through the middle of the map hit through the big wall there in the middle and hit a bill cam all right the other side of the map has those two buildings that are connected by the snowy patch in the middle you can always go for a ladder stall off a snowy patch in the middle or a jeep bounce or you can go in either of those buildings and go for well one of them you can go for a window shot out and the other side you can just break the glass and go for a backdrop wall bang like through the whole building the bot is eyed on sub base but it comes a little close at times and it doesn't go in the middle of the map as much as it should so you can only really trick shot from the one side of the map with the two buildings with the ladders therefore it's not as good as any a tier or s tier map and it's going in the b tier as far as the rest of the maps go i think next one up is going to be estate i think i'm going to put that in c tier now i actually personally love estate and i think it's underrated as well it has that main bounce in the middle that everyone goes for what else you can just jump off the greenhouse and you can hit a big bounce from there if you want or you can just like wall bang anything since it's iw4x there's a bunch of bounces on estate actually there's not just the main one in the middle there's a bunch of like little rock ones and the main one in spawn where you jump off the little post not only that but right next to that bounce in spawn there's actually a car bounce you can go for or if you go to the complete other side of the map from there there's actually a few like decent trick shotting spots in the house where you can like window shot and stuff none of these spots are really crazy though they're all just like decent they're all just estate spots kind of you know what i mean no spot on estate is as good as any spot on like karachi or sub base or any map that i put in b tier so for that reason i have to put in c tier like i said i personally enjoy the map and the challenge of trying to hit on maps that people don't hit on a lot but the bot on that map man it either always goes too close to hit on where it's a barrel stuff or if you're going from distance it's just too far and it never connects so yeah that's my reasoning for that one but moving on i'm also gonna have to put fuel in c tier once again an underrated map i love fuel i think there's a lot of dope trick shotting spots on it this one's basically for the same reason as the state because it has good trick shotting spots but none of them are like crazy it has that main roof you can trick shot off of which like has a hole in the middle you can just jump into it has window shots it has a lattice stall actually now that i think about it it has a few lattice stalls and even though the building is really thick you can easily wall bang it with the wall bang everything and not only that but the other side of fuel has a bunch of like small buildings with ladders and like rocks and stuff you can trick shot off of as well so you think it wouldn't be that bad and it's really not that bad but the bot paths on it really need to be improved you can basically only hit from the main trick shot building or if you're good at elevators it's like one or two elevators i know of that you can do i've seen people hit those but besides that there's not a lot you can hit even if you have a cool shot combo you're probably not going to hit it or if you do it's going to be a barrel stuff because the bots either go really close or really far there's like no in between just like a state moving on since this is iw4x i know a lot of these maps are actually decent but i feel like a lot of them if not all of them are going to be going in the d tier and let me explain why as i do these so carnival is going to be the first one going in d tier and you're probably thinking why carnival is a good trick shotting spot you can go like on top of the whole roller coaster which is pretty high you can probably 1440 it there's also bounces ladder stalls there's a bunch of other stuff Listen, the bots on Carnival are terrible. They don't go anywhere near where you want a trick shot from. You have to hit like across the full map. And honestly, the angles it goes to, even though you can wall bang everything, they're just like weird, awkward angles. You can basically not hit a dope shot on Carnival. Honestly, it's really unfortunate how they did that map. If they put the bot path on the other side of the map, it could literally be one of the better ones on IW4X. But moving on, we also got to throw a strike in D. Come on, strike's not a good trick shotting map at all. It has that one little bounce in the middle you can go for, and it has that like one balcony you can go for the shot down the street besides that like nothing really i'm sure there's people that do elevators and stuff that know like all these outer maps on strike and like oh come on it's one of the best no it is not another map that elevator people are going to be mad at is going to be trailer park i have to put this one in d boys this is easily the worst like probably the worst map actually in iw4x and listen to my reasoning for it if you don't know an elevator you don't have anywhere to trick shot from you have that one little dumpster you can jump on and do maybe a 720 probably like a 540 from if you can get out of the map and do the elevator you can go for something crazy you can go for like a 2160 bounce under the map but if you don't take the time to learn an elevator there's nothing moving on from that i'm also going to put skid row in d for the same reason as trailer park this is an amazing map if you know elevators you can go on like crazy roofs and stuff but one the bot doesn't go in a good spot like at all even if you do do your elevators or whatever like you still can't really hit them but if you don't know elevators you got a few little spots to trick shot from there's like the one 1080 spot where you go on the crates in the back of the map besides that they're all like 720s and none of them are very good and none of them are even close to where the bot goes if you go on those crates have fun with the bot being across the map i mean i 
know with the wall bang everything, you can technically still hit it, but if you don't even know like where the guy is, I don't know. It's a pain in the ass to do. Not worth it in my opinion. This one should have been obvious to everyone, but overgrown is going in D. Unless you're going for some crazy shot like a care package or turret lunge or something, I can't see any reason to play overgrown on IW4X. I can't think of a single elevator on the map, and besides that, there's that one trick shot in spot that's like a 720 off a little roof you can go off of. Not worth it. Might as well just go for a shot from dead cow to dead cow. Moving on, salvage. This is another one that belongs with all these for sure. It's definitely one of the worst trick shot maps in the game, unless you know elevators. If you know Ellie's, you can actually hit a banger because the guy's a little bit distant. He goes in the middle of the map, which is right next to like main trick shot spots for the people that can't Ellie. So if you can't Ellie, you're basically stuck going for like a little 720 off of the roof or like the little, I don't even know what it is in the middle of the map. But basically, the guy you're trying to hit on is like right there as well, and it's not going to be distant at all. It's just going to be a lefty if you hit it, unless you hit the Ellie, which is is from the back of spawn and it's actually distant if you hit to the middle of the map but realistically like not that many people know the salvage alley which is the reason it never gets voted on iw4x these last few i'm not really positive about except storm i know storm is just going to d once again just like the other ones my reasoning for that is one i don't even know an elevator to trick shot from to make it good but besides that all the spots are 720s i know you can shoot through the walls and like hit a crazy wall bang everything it's still a 720 map. I don't even think you can 1080 if you wanna. I mean, some people might like it and go for some creative shots like out of map on it or something, but for just generic IW4X trick shotting, it is not the move. All right, boys. Well, I wasn't sure about these last three. I didn't know if they'd be C or D, but I think I gotta put Rundown in D. And boys, I'm not gonna lie. I put a lot of thought into it. I almost considered putting it in C, but I don't think it's as good as a state of fuel by any means. I might not think it's like as bad as Storm, but I don't know. It honestly is kind of up there. So there's a few roofs you can trick shot off of. All like 720 spots besides maybe one 1080. Maybe two if you place a care package in one spot, but yeah, basically a 720 map. With the wobbling everything, it could go cool. You could hit maybe a few cool 1080s, but I don't know. It's not very good. There is a few bounces that make up for it, but hey, they're not even very high. I don't know. I don't think it deserves to be above D tier, to be honest. All right, so now we have Invasion, which normally I don't mind as a trick shotting map. I actually kind of like it. It is like a 720 map, but there's ladder stalls, top spins, bounces. I think there's bounce, yeah, there's bounces. And with the wall being everything, you think it goes crazy. And I mean, it kinda does, but it really doesn't. Like the bots don't go to a very good spot at all to hit them. And like I said, there's not many good spots. There's only a few. So the people in the game are just crowding the spots that do exist. And it's just a bunch of ghillie suits there and stuff. So for that reason, I'm gonna put Invasion in D. Now the final map we got is Bailout. And I don't think Bailout's as bad as the rest of them in D, but I don't think it really lives up to the ones in C. Actually, you know what? I think it does live up to the ones in C. And here, let me explain why Bailout is gonna be a C tier map. So for the people that are good at elevators, if you put your FPS on 333, you can get on the huge like main Bailout roof. You can go for like a crazy 1440, if not more Sui, maybe even like a 2560 or something. And if you aren't good at alleys, you can get out of the map pretty easily because Bailout is the easiest map to get out of basically in Call of Duty history, I think. You just gotta do a little strafe jump from the staircase to the windowsill and boom, you're out of the map. From there, you can go for a wall bang Sui, or if you get lucky, you can actually shoot under the map and go for like a 1440. Let's say you don't wanna go for a Sui at all though, and you wanna get some more Attempts. There's a few spots you can actually go for in the map as well, like bounces and window shots. They're probably like 720 to 900 spots, if that, but hey, you can go for a little shot across the map, or like you can do it really distant from a lot of the window shots and a lot of the bounces you can hit pretty far. And you can't really do any of that stuff on the D tier map, so that's why Bailout will be a C tier map after all. And yeah, that's actually, if I scroll down, that is every single map. I got them all. So yeah, on that note, that's going to be a wrap on today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time more than you know. I know that this style of upload is different than what I normally do, but if you guys did enjoy it and you want to see more tier makers in the future, please make sure to drop a like rating on the video and drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite part of the video and if you want to see more, like I said. Also, let me know in the comments, do you agree with the choices I made in this video? Would you put these maps in these tiers? Let me know your thoughts. I do upload Call of Duty trick shotting videos daily where I'm actually playing, not just like rating maps like this. So if you guys enjoyed today's video or you're new to the channel and that sounds like you're cup of tea please make sure to subscribe with post notifications on by clicking the red subscribe button and clicking the little bell icon right next to it and changing personalized to all that way you'll get all the notifications from my videos in the future and you won't miss any also to stay up to date and stay connected with me please make sure to follow me on twitter as well i tweet out every time i upload on youtube and stream on twitch which is every other night or like need help with an upload looking for someone to play with anything like that you can also stay connected with me through my community trick shotting discord that link will be in the description and i also upload consistently on my tiktok and my second channel so if you guys haven't checked those out yet please make sure to do so as well all right guys i think i said everything i need to say for today's upload thank you so much for watching once again like i said and i'm going to catch you guys tomorrow with another banger upload peace out everyone neck out